Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo flawless run on this week's Master Nightfall, which is the Corrupted, everybody's favourite. Uh, I'm doing it on Hunter Solo 3.0. All the mods and aspects that I'm using in the video I'll show at the start. Uh, the weapons I'm using, Osteo Streaker for Overload, Vouchsafe for Unstoppable, and the Storm Chaser Linear Fusion Rifle will be my heavy DPS boss weapon. The only mistake I kind of made here with my setup is I have Rocket Launcher Scavenger on instead of Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger, which, let me tell you, didn't, didn't actually make a difference. For some reason, sometimes you will only get one ammo from a brick from this li for Linear Fusions with the Storm Chaser. I can't remember for the other Linear Fusion Rifles if it still does the same, but I'm wondering if the three burst from Storm Chaser makes the game at the moment think that you're getting three rounds per brick. Probably not, because there was some I was getting 5 and 6 from. So, as you can see, you see we're going to take this overload out to start with. When, you take, when you've got Revitalizing Blast on, when you stop a champion, you get a big explosion, which takes about 10%, maybe a bit more than that, of their health. So, I always run it, it's just it's just too easy to, to run it. Uh, my, class ability, my class item is normally uh, Classy Restoration and Revitalizing Blast. That's what I use nearly all the time. So, as you can see them from that big, I never quite got it close enough. And that, that is the gunpowder gamble. If you get solar ability kills, you charge. You'll see I've got a cooldown on the left-hand side. Uh, uh, you, when you get solar kills, you'll see it pop up there. It kind of looks something like when you're charging the linear fusion rifle on the on the Vex Mitha class. It's a little box with... Uh, it's, it's little boxes, and when you ch when you ch get enough of the kills, it tells you you've got it ready, and it, and, and it kind of appears in your gr your grenade slot. Although it doesn't take the place of your grenade, that's just where it appears. And when you throw it, it's like three tripmen grenades all stuck together. It does massive damage for for, for almost an extra ability. It's it's amazing. Uh, Arc burn is is uh, active on this this strike so you're doing 25% more arc but you're taking 50% more arc so you know you could actually double down on, on the arc resist and, and, and you wouldn't be doing yourself a disservice you could put two arc resist mobs on and probably would just do just as well as I did here now I am going to speak a little bit about about the strike about the way this, this strike works rather than what I'm doing on the screen so much because well, you can see what I'm doing on the screen, and you can you can tie it in with the information. So that first section, really all you need to do is kill the boss. If you're going for Platinum, then you want to kill the three overloads. But you really only need to kill the boss, then you can come in here and make your way towards what I, what I call the lift section. The lift section, well, <clears throat> there's, no really, there's not really anything nice I can say about it. It's not very nice and counter, but it's not... It's not really difficult. The problem with the encounter that a lot of people will encounter is the ads are in your face very quickly. You can help yourself out here. So when you start this encounter, when you come in, you're going to have a couple of ads. But the whole the whole thing starts when you activate this little console. Uh, what's going to happen is over on the other side, you're going to get a wave of taking, taking uh, thrall. Here they come here. And that will be the first wave. And then the second wave, you're going to get a couple more taken throw, but you're going to get three shielded bosses. Shielded bosses, you have to break with these orbs. Uh, once you break them with the orbs, they are, they're available to kill. And as you'll see, they're not exactly too kind of tanky. There's another one. You might just kill him. There's two of these. In the first wave, there's two kind of, you know, not really too strong adds. Then you've got one pretty tanky ad. In the second wave, the second wave is where the issue. A lot of people have the issue because the center section becomes taken. You know, taken orbs spinning round, and you know, it, it, I can understand it can be quite annoying. It's actually not too difficult. You just have to be aware of where you can stand and where you can move to. You'll see when I'm doing it. I, I just I I keep moving. Uh. Because as long as you're moving, these the big up these big kind of taking guys, they can't not really too mobile, so they can't really come after you. They can't change direction really quickly. You have to be aware of their attacks, the 
the two cabal taken they're almost like taking phalanxes. They can boop you, which obviously is not good because you can get booked off the map or you can get booked, booked into the center. See, I'm going to use my gunpowder gamble. That is why I put it on. It took almost every ad. No, I. You're going to get a whole bunch of. whole bunch of uh, taken thrall here. I'm trying to get one of these shields down pretty quickly. It didn't really work. It didn't work the way I wanted. So now. This is this is kind of what you can do. You just lead them away. I'm going to put a grenade down, try and take the other, take him, and you can pick those orbs up from where I am. See, once you break them, they do go down relatively easy. So there's another guy, and you can do this. See, you got to be careful with that book, but classy restoration. Even if you do get, take a little bit of a hit, classy restoration will, will can fix you right up. There we go. I know he's going to book me. Just get dodge on, and it wouldn't be the corrupted if the ads didn't regenerate their health on that. It's really, it can it can be quite frustrating when you're de dealing damage to ads, and 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 uh, the uh, the con they do regenerate quite often. Kind of on a side note, for me anyway. Uh, I, I can't actually tell you how, how good I think this season's been so far because in recent history, I think, I think this has been the buggiest season we've ever had. It's just, it's, it's, now I'm not going to sit here and bash Bungie because anybody that watches the channel knows. I'm not, I'm not some sort of Bungie fanboy, but I understand it's difficult to balance all these things, so I'm an adult. You, you just you get on with it. If you don't like it, there's nothing you can do about it or I can do about it. But it's really hard to say how good this season is because of the amount of bugs. It's just not. I'm not having a lot of fun because of the bugs. But uh, anyway, as you'd have seen, you just keep moving around. You can pick the orbs up from standing on on the little bits uh, where the orbs are and break the shields, take them down. Once you take them down, we're going to move on to this section. So, you, we had uh, an, an, an unstoppable. Took the unstoppable out. Now, what you can do if you want to save ammo because famine's on as well, you can just you can just keep stopping the the oval the unstoppable, and the explosion will will basically take the place of your heavy shots. So, a cut, basically. If you just stop the, the unstoppable in each section and then shoot them with your scout, take a health bar down. You'll, you'll take a health bar down quite easily. Uh, and just save your heavy. Because, I mean, you're seeing there's been times I've picked up, I've got five or six in the black brick. Plenty of times I've picked up and only got one. So, even though I, the reason why I chose the Osteo Streaker was... Uh, because it's an exotic and an exotic primary is supposed to generate more heavy, you know, predictably anyway. Uh, it, it wasn't the case. It didn't seem like it. It did actually. It, it, I, I tried other weapons beforehand and I, I'd done it with a different setup and Osteo definitely generated more heavy than the other loadouts. So, the other thing I should, pre I, I, I should reference is I, dis I completed this before this run. And it was, um, I don't know, about five and a half minutes faster than this. But I actually died at the boss. Because the boss can one hit you. So in this run I decided, well, I'm just going to take my time. Because this is about getting the completion. This isn't about farming. So there will be times that I'll, I'll be slightly more cautious than I normally would be. Just because I want to show you guys the safest way to do it. So, once you once you get to a section, you've got two overload, or two unstoppable ogres. As a bunch of arc knights, which, yes, this this uh, strike does have. You see what I'm doing here? Sorry, I'll, I interject myself here to, so I can tell you guys. This is what I'm doing. What I said about taking down a health bar and save conserving your heavy. You'll see it here. So if you stop him, it takes about almost half of his health bar, and then from a clip. See what I'm saying? You take a whole health bar down. Now, I don't know why the explosion never happened there. 
Maybe, maybe it was too close to the last explosion, but this time he will explode. There you go. Easy money. Now, I do use my, my Storm Chaser on these guys. I, I thought about not using a second shot because if you can control, the, because it's a three burst, the Storm Chaser was a three, three burst. Because it's a three burst, uh, you want. You, you've really got to try and control the recoil to get all three shots to register as crits. Now, I'm just trying to make sure that I take out these guys and then we can go after the two shriekers. Now, what I tried to do at the bot, at the, this next section, at the ogre section, was take all the unstoppable. So, I probably burnt a bit more time than I needed to. I never focused on taking down the, the hive first I should have but uh, it was just messing about I wasn't sure how many champions were at the hive I didn't know if it was two on both might have been I might have missed one uh, I, I, as I say I wasn't sure so I was kind of messing about just I didn't want to kill one boss and and then miss platinum I think, I think, I, I can't remember it seeing it coming up, but the fact that I got the weapon and I got decent rewards, I'm kind of thinking I did get platinum. There we go, the infamous one. So what we're going to do here is each of these sections has champions as well, and if you want to get platinum, you're going to have to take those champions. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and take the champions before I take the bosses. Now, I spend a little bit of time here. A lot more time here than I would have liked. Uh, when I'd done this on the last run, which I say was a couple of minutes faster than this, even with a death, I took the, this section really quickly. But I know I got gold in the last one, and I, I thought I took all the, the, the champions. So, right away, you're going to start with the hive section. I'm just going to try and stop this. There we go. And now I'm going to fire my super, which took that champion immediately. So that's, that's, now I never seen another champion. I didn't see another champion in, in the hive section. But I come up here and some, you, you'll get a bunch of ads. They will drop, they will drop, uh, I'll just put that over there. That breaks the shields, get some chained explosions going. Just take that guy straight away. What I was doing was I kept going up there. Tons of tons of void will go up there, so the vouchsafe will make light light work of them. So now I'm gonna put some shots on this this hive guy. Just because of his movement, I I was struggling to get the the crits because it was almost like he was bouncing to music as he was walking up to me. I'm like, dude, keep it together. So now we just want to change some of these explosions because this is a good place to get to get heavy. So what we're going to do is just whittle, whittle them down. The explosion, as you'll have seen there, the explosion uh, took out some of the solar shields, which was good. There we go, nice couple of chains there. And out of out of heavy, which is the. Luckily, we got we got uh, this ogre in the in the in the grenade. So as you can see, you can see the ticks. That's still damaging him. So now, as I say, we want to change some of these explosions. I want there we go. We got a brick. <coughs> and that, even if you don't manage to get that brick, which I'm not going to go after it here because well, there's an unstoppable there. <laughs> so. I'll just clear these. I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit of heavy, obviously. Which we don't manage to get. The Hive of Stingy. It's the Taken. The Taken want to give me heavy. So, the other thing that I probably haven't mentioned, but I'm, I think you guys probably already know. The other thing... I'm going to get this heavy. The other thing is, this Radiant. Right? Becoming Radiant. If I throw my melee... I become radiant, right? We're gonna get thingy away in a sec. We managed to get the stop, but it was, really was too soon. When you throw your melee, that one of the fragments I've got on is once I throw, once I my melee connects, hits something, I get 
I think it, I think it's substantial. I think it's like a thirty percent damage boost when you're reading. Now that's the hive down. So now we'll get teleported into the taken world. We've got two unstoppables to kill, and then the boss. We've got a super, which should do good good damage on the boss. So we'll get the stop on both of those, and then the explosion. And there we go, this is just about done. Finish. Right, so that is... That is uh, two unstoppables. Now, you'll see here how good... How good uh, Radiance is. I actually... I'm, I'm not going to lie to you here. I lost where I was when I when I spun with that... Uh, with that super. It's only here that I realise that I'm over on the other side. So let's just kill some of these, see if we can get some heavy. The, 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 the recovery is brilliant. I'll just get out of here. I've just realized I'm actually on the opposite side to where I normally am. Restoration is... We're going to miss it next season. Restoration is one of the things that makes Hunter so good, so tanky. Although the subclass itself is pretty good. But the pro another problem I have you'll see there with uh, this taking over was it was a problem it was something that I'd done so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna proc restoration and I can just run past these shriekers yeah well, one of the problems that I had right there with that taking over was when I, I I was maybe just a little bit too eager to fire my my blade barrage and yep not enough of the blades hit because of the, the location of the. You see there, we've got some heavy there. Location of the champ, the the ogre when I fired my blade barrage. Now, when you come out here, we're going to have these unstoppables. I don't know why they're called unstoppables when they're so easy to stop. Come on, you can do better. <laughs> you, you, there we go, and then we get that explosion. Sometimes when you've got two unstoppables, you'll see me trying to do it. Uh, you can you can get them to you know, get them to come together and use the explosion from stopping one to damage the other one, and and then do the same thing again. So once you take those unstoppables out, there are two unstoppables on the stairs, uh, and then below the staircase there are two overloads. So, in this little section, you've got six champions. Excessive much. Uh, <laughs> it's all good because they go, they, honestly, they go down like paper houses. So, they're not really too tanky. My whole issue with this run was the first thing was the, you know, once you can get past, once you can get past the lift room, then it's the boss you have to deal with. Everything else is, is kind of almost generic as in kill move forward kill move forward you know there's no real if you do this this makes it i mean there are things that if you do it it makes it easier but there's no secret strategy the boss however has a little bit of a strategy and i am going to utilize it if i cannot accidentally backwards walk off the stairs it can hit you know that i th me personally, don't don't take this as fact and don't quote me, but I I honestly subscribe, you know, it's a personal opinion. I subscribe to the, the whole train of thought that if you don't back off the stairs, you have a 78% chance of not dying from backing off the stairs. So, Mondo's tip for the video. Don't back off the stairs, don't kill yourself. Thank you. That tip was brought to you by <laughs> Raid Shadow Legend. No, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so the two unstoppables are dead. Calm down, man. What are you doing with yourself? The two unstoppables are dead. <clears throat> Apparently they got stopped. There's a rumor. Uh, the unstoppables get stopped. Uh, I just went into a really kind of funny mood. That tickled me a little bit. I apologize. Uh, this little, this little guy here, he is really annoying. He's more annoying than the champions. He's got a really, he has got the, 
the new modded version, <laughs> new modded version of the Lord of Wolf shotgun. This one's arc, and he just like he he's like uh, I don't know, <laughs> he's a nightmare. He just runs about just melting you, and as you can see, I'd applied burn to him with everything that I'd hit him with. Uh, I think I think my guardian took his shoes off and clapped him with him as well. Uh, last overload. Now, another thing is probably worth mentioning, you know, you put, give some facts in the guide. These overloads, they deal stasis damage. They can freeze you. I remember the first time I noticed that I was jumping off a platform to another platform and got frozen. <laughs> just, whee! <laughs> just fell down because I'd lost my jump. Uh, you see on the left-hand side of the screen the gunpowder gamble. Six ab solar ability kills get you, and it's substantial by the way, I think it's like 70, you can do up to 70, 80,000 damage with it and as an additional piece of you know, as an additional weapon in your arsenal eh, it's quite tasty, the only the only issue I've got with it from a personal perspective is when you put it's one of the, it's one of the aspects to get it you, you lose some fragment slots so, always the case though that to get the good stuff you've got to give some stuff up to get the good stuff so it's not needed you can if you pref if you've got a setup you don't have to run gunpowder you can run the other one that gives you the faster reload and whatever but uh i i, ju I just i thought for the boss which is a lot of this run was geared to the boss the boss fight took me almost as long as it took me to get to the boss because as i say the time before this i actually completed it but uh, I did complete it, but the boss killed me because, well, we'll talk about that when we get there. The boss has an interesting thing going on. So, you don't, again, with that overload can fall off the rock, right? Now, if the overload falls off the rock and you haven't dealt any damage to the overload, you know, if the overload, if it says, it comes up on your screen, you know, a champion's been defeated or whatever, and you don't get any points, well, you're not going to get Platinum. Now, at this stage, I'm not sure how, how much Platinum matters. Now, this, as I say, this one's not a farming guide. This is this is a 100k guide. And obviously, if you do this, you'll see at the end, I do get a Horrors, le a horrors Least. That was the remix version of the Horrors Least. I did get a Horrors Least, a Horrors Least. Uh... Threw my grenade down, the two invisible minotaurs, you know, nipped out for tea or something. Uh, you don't have to kill these, you could just run run uh, straight past them. I, I I don't like the taking, so, you know, decided, you know, everyone must die. So, little invisible boss up here, and then, and then we're going to have two overloads, which again is, you know, it doesn't take long. You, you, you can see that this guy, this guy, back maybe about two years ago, that guy was a high value target, and now he, he's he's another notch on the bedpost of the garden. But uh, almost got me. Remember, I said I was jumping from one platform to another and got froze. That was where it happened. The very first time it ever happened was there. I was coming off that platform and he hit me. He hit me with his he hit me with his moves as I was coming off the platform. And I just fell to my death. So <clears throat> we're almost at the boss. Boss is a lot more difficult with with what's going on here with the new kind of modifiers than I think it's ever been, and it's never been an easy easy battle. Uh, if you have if you say you do this on the Titan, you've got a lot more I think in your arsenal for ad clear not to say that titan is better or hunter's better or warlock's better i just the hunter has some cool stuff but with the sun sunspots titan's going to be able to control this area much faster Pro probably in the ad clearing sections the titan is probably a better option for this uh but as you'll see the hunter manages it still pretty good as well so the way this boss fight works is Sadir, who we've come to rescue, it's like this is like uh, an adult version, of, uh, adult version of a Disney movie. We've come to rescue the princess. We have to free her from the wicked witch. 
I don't know where I got that from. I don't know why that was in my head. So every time we get involved with with this section, right? Basically, Sadia's gonna call it a wave of ads. So you see we've got a wave of ads here. Now, what's gonna happen is most of you guys will know about the mechanic with the orb. You pick the orb up. If you, there's other people here, you can throw the orb between each other and you can charge it. If you charge the orb by throwing it between each other, the more you throw it between each other, the more charged it gets, the more powerful it is. The more powerful it is, the more damage it will do to her shield. Now, it's not that I'm really bad at throwing this, this orb. You'll see here the orb has tracking. Sometimes, the tracking doesn't work. Or, or it didn't work for me. That's that's a better thing. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to wait for her. I'm going to just do. I'm going to entice her to do that little thing where she throws. See that circle on the floor, and then she tries to boop you. So when I throw my last one, I'll dodge. I'm going to throw my super. I didn't have. I didn't have a. a I didn't have a melee. Because I wanted to proc Radiance. If I'd have proc Radiance, I'd have done a lot more damage. Now, I come up here. And the reason why I'm coming up here, that wasn't the greatest gunpowder gamble. It's still got some. Uh, the reason I come up here is because nearly every time I was doing this, this is the part where I was getting killed. Right here. Because we do so much damage, we get a double wave. And this is where, you know... I mean, I'm literally just, this is just target practice. This is just shooting fish in a barrel here, but it's time consuming, you know? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to prioritize. So many ads are there. I think, I'll, I think I end up having to come back over here as well because I go over thinking it's all good and it's get melted. I'm trying to prioritize the orange bars because the orange bars duplicate them. They, they're, they're the worst. So you see here, we are getting, th we are thinning them out. A little bit time consuming. It is what it is. Take these orange bars. And once I feel like the area is clear enough for me to go over with, you know, Scout Rifle actually performed really well. The, uh, the, the vouch safe performed really well. I've had this, this, in, this one in the vault for ages. I actually had to infuse it because it was still 1350 or something. So I feel like I can go across, and in the minute I went across, I realized I've made a mistake. I've had to use two dodges. Much more ads over the other side than I thought there was going to be. So now I'm just going to throw a nade, and hopefully... You know, I threw the nade, and nothing walked into it. So, these... These... Uh, these knights, I'll just dodge, I'll use my throwing knife, that's the deer, I want to get involved. She's all the way over the other side, but she still wants to get involved. And then we've got another set of throwing knives. Now the amount of damage we've done to Sadia up to this point means that she, once we break our shield, there's a good chance. We may only have to hit her once and she's going to go, because I think, I think we've done good damage on her. You see the Osteo on a especially on a red bar. Uh, we'll eat through that solar shield, you know, not like really super easy, but you'll see here The cool thing is when you're regenerate when you're reloading they can't regenerate their shield because all still 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 eating at them when you're moving from left to right Across these sections be very careful for a for the moving platforms uh, the moving rocks the me meteors uh be very careful for them. See, there's a lot of them. And B, be careful that, because uh, especially especially when we go into the next realm, be careful because Sadia will try and, and and throw you, right? See what I'm saying? I never looked and I never paid the price for it. I could have. Now she's gone. Uh... When we go over to this area, when you're jumping between platforms, especially when we get all the way up to the top where the boss battle is really going to take place, uh, make sure you, you're not jumping about a lot because if you're jumping, if you're in the air, that's when Sadia will, uh, 
Look at that gunpowder gamble. Just almost kill all these enemies. Just leave us with not much on the, the hobgoblin. Yeah, when you're in the air and she does that boop, she really will throw you. But if you're if it's boots on the ground, you'll kind of just move to the side a little bit. So try and stay boots on the ground as much as possible. When you get to this section, what you're looking to do here, just having a look to see, I could probably have went out and used my heavy here. But uh, I just got into the vein of not using my heavy when I didn't need to. When you get to these sections, Sadia will stay until the Solar Knight has gone. It doesn't matter what other other ads are there. there. It's the Solar Knight that makes her stay. The minute you take that Solar Knight, that, that, I think is it the Ravenous Knights, once you take them, then Sadia will disappear. So here, there's, there's Sniper, there's Overload, and then there's the, the, the Knight... Uh, even if it was just the night you took and everything else stayed, she would go. So we've tried to use the overload uh, with, our, with our thing. We tried to use the overload to break the shield. Now, I think he'll have his shield back now, right? Yep, so we need to bring the overload back down. Because we don't have... The overload's there. You can, uh, I keep saying overload. Unstoppable. So, we never managed, I was hoping I would be able to hit him from there. <laughs> uh, it would have been a good shot. So now we have to get the unstoppable to come down. Just dodge, and now, as you can see, I've stopped him. And now I'm going to move, I'm going to change my angle, and now he's going to come out. I'll just get him to calm down a little bit. And now you can see... There we go. Now Sadia's gone. It's just us and the unstoppable. So, when we get up top, it's very important. Uh, you're probably going to have to break her twice. Probably going to have to break her twice. Although, I think you'll agree when you see it. It was very close to only... I think, if I remember correctly, it was very close to just needing one stop. So, be prepared to need to stop her twice. And she will do this thing on this after the first orb. She will do this thing where uh, she starts teleporting. And I don't know if that's a bug or if it's supposed to happen. So, when you come up here, pretty pretty quickly she'll try and boop. So, as you can see, I didn't jump there. I just, I just used my momentum to take me over the gap. Because she tries, to, she tries to boop pretty quickly. Try not, as I've already said, try not to... Uh, to jump too much because that's when she'll do, the, do her attack and push you right off the map. So now it's just us and Sadia be very careful uh, about about uh, about standing and and you see here I never had another dodge. I did not want to engage too much. I never had my healing. Uh, I didn't want to engage too much until I had another dodge. She's done her attack, so now I can throw another lot of super at her. And that is how close it was. It should have been a one. One more crit. That's all it would have taken. So now we've got these guys. So knife throw. We've got our restoration. Keep your eye on your restoration because in the heat of battle you can think you've still got it and you don't and you're wondering why you've been hit and you're not regenerating. Now I've got a dodge now, I have my regeneration but I think I'm, the reason why I'm hiding, not so much hiding, come on, I'm definitely not hiding. I'm hiding, it's because of this guy. I knew he was going to chase after me, right? Uh... Now I've got my my I've got my dodge I've got my my uh, gunpowder gamble. Still another ad there. No, she's disappeared. This is what she does now. She teleports in and out. You'll see. I've got my dodge. I'll get this. And now she's gone. I, I, it's been it, before this run. It had been so long before I'd done this. I don't remember if she always done that. <laughs> I 
And now we just break our shield. And there we go. So, Storm Chaser performed okay, but the three bursts sometimes made it difficult to hit consistent crits. Uh, but apart from that, I took my time. I tried to not be too aggressive or reckless with the rim. And overall, I would say I was happy with the way it all went. And as you'll see, we did get the Platinum. Taking those uh, Unstoppables, the two in the Ascendant part of the Ogre section really makes a difference. And we got all the stuff from it. So, got the weapon, got an Exotic, got an Ascendant Shard. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. I'll try and get at least another thing out this week. Uh, I'm unsure what content I'm going to be making. So whatever it is, I'm sure that we'll have a good time doing it. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.